Hello, good afternoon, good evening, good morning, whatever it is where you are, and welcome back to another episode on the Annoyed Dad YouTube channel. In today's episode, we are going to try to clear up a myth that I've heard a lot about that apparently you can hatch quail eggs that you can buy from the supermarket. And I've heard a lot of people saying this, so I thought, let's give it a go. Now, before we start, I will do a couple of little caveats. Caveat number one, we are doing this in January, uh, but it has been incredibly mild, so I don't expect the temperature to have really hit these eggs too badly. Caveat number two is I just walked into my local Sainsbury's and I picked these up off the shelf. So, let's take a look at what we got. So, first of all, as I just said, I walked into Sainsbury's and I picked them up off the shelf, and you can see down there it's got quail leg times 12, two lots of, for £2.75 per pack, and I got them on the 12th of January 2020, at 20 past 3 in the afternoon, if you really must know. And they are Clarence Court. If I slide them off like that, there you go. So you're able to see they're Clarence Court. Now, I went online and I looked to try to find out if I could get any from the likes of maybe Tesco's or Asda or Morrison's or any of the other UK big top five supermarkets and I couldn't. The only ones I could get were Clarence Court, um, they're the only ones I could see on any website and they're only available in Waitrose or Sainsbury's. So as there's not a Waitrose within a reasonable driving distance of me, I, I got these from my local Sainsbury's. Now weirdly, this is obviously the Christmas packaging as you can see, but there were ones that had uh, expiry dates that were earlier than this, so they actually expired on the day I went to the supermarket. Uh, was it the day after? No, they were the 13th of Jan. They were displaying until the 13th, and they weren't in the Christmas packaging. So, you know, they obviously found some Christmas packaging in the warehouse and decided to use it. So you can see there's a few days left on these, but they've obviously been on the shelf for a little bit longer. It doesn't say when the eggs were laid or anything else like that. But with these, it does... You know, it just describes a little bit about eggs, how to cook them, what to do with them, and uh, basically who made them. So they haven't been in the fridge, they've literally come off of the shelf straight into here and they've been sat in my kitchen for the last 24 hours. But they mark their quail eggs up as free to fly. I haven't been online, I haven't looked to see what they mean by free to fly. I might explain that a little bit further on in the video if I go online and if I have a look. So how are we going to incubate these and what are we going to do? Well. As everybody knows, quail eggs are 18 days to hatch, locked down after 15. What we are going to do is we have warmed up and we have fired up the incubators, and we've got two this year. Number one is we are going to be using the Brincy Mini Advance. This one just here, it's an automatic one, but it can only take 12 eggs. So we're going to load that one up with 12 of the eggs, and then the other 12 are going into the Arcon King Sorrow 20, which is this one here, and we're also putting in a few other eggs with that at the same time, just to see how they go. So, shall we begin and start loading them in? All right, so let's open up this. The incubators have been turned on, and they've been left on. A little bit like how you warm up an oven, that's what you really should do with your incubators, because it also helps just to check to make sure that the incubators are actually working and everything is going all right with them. So what you do is you load them in, I'm looking for any cracked ones, and you want to put the pointy bit towards the middle. Now these are great incubators, if you don't have one, get one. Um, unless of course you've got one of the big brincies. But these guys are fantastic because you can just load your eggs in and basically set and forget up until you come to the 15 days and then you need to um, add a little bit of water for the last few bits. Okay, so that's them in. I'm going to load the other lot up into the other ones. I don't need to show you that on camera, I don't believe. And we will come back in a week's time when we're going to candle them, and then we will know if there is any chance of us being able to hatch supermarket quail eggs. Let's find out. Okay, so here we go. We're on to day number seven already. 
and the eggs have just basically been in there they haven't been touched we've, we've also got them in the other incubator which i'll flip over and do that in a second it's just over this half of the kitchen i've got these bits and over the other half of the kitchen i've got the other bits so when we candle the eggs this is going to tell us if the eggs are fertile and if anything in there is growing if they just glow like a light bulb then it means there's nothing in there whatsoever so we're going to be using the candling lamp and this is quite a good little candling lamp it's a bit of an old one but you just press the button on it and there's a nice bright light that comes out the top of it so what we do for this time we can lift up the incubator we can see the eggs for the first time I'm just going to lift up the eggs I'm going to place some pointy end down just onto the top like that and then press the button obviously we can't see anything so let's adjust this and then we'll kill the lights and then we'll see are we going to have anything no. <laughs> first one, I was always hopeful of the first one. The first one is a no. There's absolutely nothing growing in there whatsoever. Let's try the second one. And again, no. Can you see just how it's, just how the whole thing is glowing if I zoom you in a little bit? There you go. You can see there's nothing growing in there at all. Let's try number three. You can see the yolk in there, that's that yellow bit that you're able to see. That one's looking a little bit different. I must admit. I don't think there's anything in it, but uh, I'll put that over into the I'm not so sure pile. And we'll wait and see. If we've got any other ones that are also fertile, then we might just uh, put that one in with them. It also feels marginally heavier than some of the other ones as well. Okay, so there we go. That's it from that incubator. Let's uh, flip the lights again. Yeah. And we're back. There we go. Let's zoom out again. So the only one that looks slightly different was just uh, that egg there. So I'm just going to put it back in the incubator just for a minute. We'll just see, just in case there is any other ones. And what we're going to do is we're going to jump over the other side of the kitchen now and we'll look at the ones in the other incubator. Okay, so here we go, let's have a look and see. Ooh. So obviously in this video we're only going to be testing out the quail eggs and in a later video we'll be testing out the other eggs. So if I move you there, let's kill the lights again. Can't see.
let's put the lights back on. Okay, so there we go. So that is, well, you can see the leftovers of my tea there. Uh, there we go, that's better. Right, so that is uh, 24 quail eggs that we have um, incubated for a week and we have candled and none of them were actually fertile. There was that one that I think maybe possibly might be doing something but I don't actually think it is now thinking back over it. So there we go, that is that myth well and truly busted. You cannot hatch supermarket quail eggs in January. Maybe we'll wait and we'll give it a try in the summer and we'll add in a few extra points to it like maybe we'll go in the day before and we'll buy up all the quail eggs so as we get, just get the freshest one that comes in. But if you've got any other ideas, any comments, any suggestions, any way as to how you think I can improve this by buying quail eggs from the supermarkets, then please leave it in a comment down below. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and above all, watch the next video. Bye-bye.